A lightweight amateur bout here at On Top Weekend and Night One. Alex Feld of Forza MMA in Edinburgh in the black trunks. Matty Mallon from Spartans MMA in Aberdeen in the red trunks. We've seen Mallon a few times, Craig, really good fighter. Alex Feld, I think I heard the ring announcer say his nickname is the Anarchist. Best nickname I've heard all night. We're underway. An interesting one. I mean, again, if you're going by the numbers here, it's certainly looking in Matty Mallon's favour. I've seen him fight a few times, really strong wrestler and pretty well rounded also. Obviously coming out of a really good gym. Um, it should be an interesting fight. Both guys kind of feeling each other out here. Alex, you would imagine, is going to be looking to use his length here. Matty closing the distance and managing to get in on his hips here. It's very composed as Alex Feld, though. He looks calm as anything. Not so much now. No. I mean, he, he was in in the hips quite deep, so it, he shouldn't have been composed. He should be fighting like a maniac in that spot to make sure he doesn't give up that takedown. But Chandler looks really flexible here. He's almost coming right round there. I mean, this is a strong position for Matty Mallon. He should sit right in the side control. He should be able to do a lot of damage here. Up against the cage as well. It's not a great spot for Alex at all. He's got that wrist trap. Yeah, we here. can't quite see what it is he's going it, for here. Obviously, it's the other side from us, but it does look like he's got that wrist trap. I don't know if he's trying to set up an Americana um, or possibly just use that to beat him up. I mean, that's a really solid position for beating him up there with this, uh, using that knee to kind of hunch him up there. He's fine, but crazy now. I'm not. Oh, there we go. He's gone into a mount now. A just a half yeah, guard. It's a quarter guard position there. He was almost in a quarter mount, whatever you want to call it. Again, Matty just trying to do a job of getting his posture here. Alex kind of just holding on. He's back against the cage. That's a really good spot for Matty to sort of beat him up and land some strikes. Needs to be offensive here. happening in this position. It looks like that he's trying to get his posture here to get inside control and work. I'm going to you know, back up against the cage here. Not ideal. He's going to be able to do a bit, fair bit of damage in that spot. So now he's done on straps. He's not able to move his hips at all because he's trapped up against the cage, you know. Matty working away at him here. I mean, ideally, Alex needs to be using the cage to try and get back to his feet here. He's been very fortunate that the referee's actually screwed him up. He's obviously used to it. the overhook to try and nullify it there. Fell v Matty Mallon at on top weekend. A round two is underway. Three three minute rounds in this amateur fight at lightweight. The first the round belongs to Mallon, no doubt. Sorry, Craig. Uh, absolutely. But, I mean, Alex certainly looks pretty composed here. Um, considering that you know, he, he lost the majority of that first round, and I noticed when he got back to his feet, he was quite happy marching forward. He just really needs to be careful for that takedown here. Obviously, Matty using really good footwork here, trying to most likely trying to set up that shot. Um, but I mean, Matty needs to start mounting some. Sorry, Alex really needs to start mounting some offense. That's a carbon copy of what happened in the first one. Yeah, I mean, that was pretty much the exact same spot. He landed that double leg and again straight to side control. And controlling that wrist again to obviously get off some strikes. I'd be very surprised if it's not a similar round to the first round, you know. Alex surely needs to get some stuff off here, but he wasn't, you know, he had his back against the cage, he wasn't able to walk back to his feet the last time. He didn't look like he was attempting to get back to his feet the last time. He has managed to get back into guard, but that's where the majority of the round was spent in round one. I mean, obviously, he's using that overhook and he's, he's relying there, hopefully, on the ref standing up, but that's just not enough, you know. Especially not when you've only got three minutes to work in each round, it's going to take a couple of minutes for that to happen. Exactly. And then you've not got long to presumably go for what he wants, which is on the feet. He really needs 
to take this into his own hands and either start attacking for submission or working his way back to his feet. Otherwise, it'll be another round for Matty here. Those, those spots here, I mean, he, he had a slight opening there. See, when you've got the guy, obviously had the, the overhook on his left side, working for the bottom, and when Matty reaches back there to, you know, to try and push his knee, he's got flat openings like that. You need to take advantage of and try and catch a triangle, try and catch something, um, you know, to threaten at least. Now, even even when he's reaching back for those punches, you need know, to be looking to get wrist control. Bring your leg out, open up your hips, and try and attack for submissions here. Um, and the spot he's in, though, it's, it is difficult because he's got his back against the cage. It's a really great spot for Matty just to beat him up here. And it's going to be difficult for him to get anything off. Ideally, he should be working back to his feet. And beating him up, beating him up is exactly what Matty Allen's trying to do here. He's landing the odd strike. Nothing that's concerning the referee, though, but, but still he's scoring and he's winning the round. Yeah, he's just working away, chipping away, landing strikes. Um, he might, might not be finishing him, but you know, all these strikes add up for sure. And if, he's, if he doesn't finish him, he's at least winning the round dominantly, you know. He went for a hip bump sweep there. It's a reasonable attempt. Alex Fell's corner telling him he needs to make something happen, and he certainly does because he's two rounds down in our book. We know judges, but it looks that way. You've got to go for something big, you know. You've got to be throwing head kicks, you've got to be throwing knees, you've got to be trying for an absolute finish here. And if you if you don't, you're in trouble. I mean, he's two rounds down, so he's got to make the finish. I mean, it was Alex that initiated the, the clinch here. But he's sitting with only one underhook at this point. He's trying, he's trying to work for two. Seems to actually have a wee bit more success, but the problem is he's got, he has his underhook on the side that he's not the side that he needs it on basically for turning him, so he's probably going to get turned just now. There we go. I mean, it's all, it's all well having him against the cage and even winning the, the clinch scenarios, but he's two rounds down, so he needs to be doing something that's going to stop the fight, you know. Yeah, you know, good patient work by Matty Mallon, who once again ends up in the position that he definitely wants to be in. And this is bread and butter stuff for Matty, you know, he's been doing this all day, he's not going to be worried at this point. However, Alex has set up a triangle here. Now, the only thing Matty's really got going for him here is that he's up against the cage. You know, so he can use the cage to, he's got good posture there. He should be able to keep himself out of that. from Alex, you know, it looks like at least those sort of tie clinch scenario, he is able to do a wee bit more damage, but the problem is he's opened himself to his takedowns and by scoring big for Matty, is if he can continue here, he's most likely going to take this round. It's a familiar tale here in round three. And although there was some success for Alex Feld with the knees, as you say there, Craig, but he, he's not done enough and he's going to need to do something very dramatic here to take this decision away. Yeah, I can't imagine there being much time left in the clock at this point. You know, Matty's working away. It seems like he's pretty much dominated every round here. The closest uh, Alex has been to any success was that triangle, really. Um, and he's landed some nice knees for the clinch as well. Just got to be a wee bit sharper and locking it up and finishing it. Gave, it, gave Matty a bit too much time to posture and defend and get out of that. His corner are telling him to push off the cage with his legs, but his legs are nowhere near the cage and he needs more advice than that at this stage. Seconds to go on this side. Matty Mallon surely has won that.